So, Soap McTavish isn't dead. Yeah, that giant scene, the train tunnel, everything that happened at the end of Modern Warfare 3 didn't happen. Apparently, according to Call of Duty, according to Activision, Soap McTavish isn't dead, or at least that's what they are wanting us to believe. And over the past few years, I have made a lot of these videos, and I think that's the reason why on every single one of my videos that I've released over the last month, I have got comments about exactly this. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, at the end of Modern Warfare 3, So McTavish is in a train tunnel defusing a bomb with Captain Price when Makarov comes up and quite literally shoots him in the head. You see him die, but... Recently, in Season 2, a skin for Soap called the Hector Black Cell skin was released, and the description of it is, well, I wasn't in that tunnel, referring to him not being there. In other words, he's alive. And this is so ridiculous and so out there, I wasn't even going to cover it, but I kept getting comments, so here we are. Today, we discuss whether or not Soap McTavish, as ridiculous as it sounds, is alive or not. But before we do... Let me tell you about today's video sponsor. So I think it is now official. Today's video is sponsored by the longest running partner of the channel, which is Ridge. If you don't know what Ridge is, they make a couple of really amazing things. The first is the Ridge wallet. They are super easy to use. You push down at the bottom, your cards pop up at the top. And on the backhand side, you have a little money strap or a clip where you can keep your cash. They come in a ton of different colors and styles. The one that you were looking at here is new. It is the blue cobalt leather. It's my new personal favorite. Another example is the natural leather one that you're looking at here. The other thing that they have is the Ridge key case. This one works the same as the wallet, but with keys. You push down at the bottom, your keys pop up at the top. And recently they've added a woman's expansion, adding in many more colors and styles for the ladies out there. And personally, this one's kind of my favorite. But today is also special for Ridge because it's their 11th anniversary. And because of that, they're running a special promotion. So if you go to the link down in the description or go to ridge.com slash ink, you can actually save yourself up to 30% off your order, which is an amazing deal. Also, I haven't even mentioned it yet, but these come with a lifetime warranty and a 365 day risk-free trial where if you don't like the product, you can just send it back, get your money back. But trust me, you are definitely not going to want that because these are absolutely amazing. If you haven't checked Ridge out, Use that link down below. It's a great time to do so. Save yourself up to 30%. And thank you, Ridge, for partnering with the channel and making what we do over here possible. So this all started back with Modern Warfare 2019. At the very end of that game, Alex, one of the main protagonists in the game, one of the main playable characters, you go into a scene where you're talking with Farah, and essentially Alex ends up sacrificing his life to destroy the gas facility. The bomb that they were using broke, and he had to not trigger it remotely, but rather trigger it himself. And assumably, the building goes boom, Alex is inside, and we all assume that he was dead. But later on in the seasons of Modern Warfare 2019, he returns, a little bruised up, missing a leg, but he comes back. And this tends to be the thing in Call of Duty. It's something that I've said for years and years and years. If you don't see a character die, they are probably not dead. This continued in Modern Warfare 2, where we had the character by the name of Philip Graves. He was essentially an evil character within the game, the leader of Shadow Company, but by the very end, Task Force 141 goes head to head with him and he brings a tank to a gunfight. And of course, Soap is the one that finishes him off. They blow up the tank and assumably kill Graves. But again, we didn't see Graves in that tank and we assumed, since we didn't see him die, he was probably not dead. I said that at the very end of the game, and lo and behold, seasons later, I believe it was season five, Graves makes a return saying this. Heard you died in a tank in South America. Well, I wasn't in that tank. So when we have a look at what the description of that skin is for Soap, and it says, well, I wasn't in that tunnel, it's directly referring to what Graves said in that season five cutscene. Well, I wasn't in that tank. The exact same thing but this goes even further because there was another death that we got completely duped with remember how i said if you don't see a character die they're probably not dead well there's an exception to that because at the end of the war zone the verdance story we see captain price get in a fight with victor zakaev in this fight captain price shoots him and then throws him off into a missile stylo falling stories and stories surely to his death right this is one of the ones where i was like we saw him die he is most definitely dead. Well, as it turns out, not the case. As we find out with the Modern Warfare Zombies storyline, the one to release the gas and cause this zombie apocalypse within Yurzikstan is Victor Zakaev. 
Now, the interesting thing about this is they went on to give a little bit of lore behind this. Apparently, after Captain Price threw Victor into the missile silo, they went to go look for his body and confirm his death. However, when they got there, they found blood, but Victor Zakaev was nowhere to be seen. So at this point alone, I was like, okay, everyone in this game just has massive plot armor. They're not going to kill anyone. And that is what's going on in this game. And I think everyone kind of had that sentiment at that point. They're just like, no matter what you see happen, everyone is safe pretty much all the time, which is a pretty insane thing to say. Move forward to the end of Modern Warfare 3. We finally get the death of a major character that isn't just, oh, something blew up, we didn't see the body. This time, they get shot in the head, we see them die, and even after that, we see our other main characters, like Gaz, Price, and Ghost, have a kind of funeral for Johnny, aka Soap McTavish, and we're like, okay, he's dead. Now, just a little side piece here. I really thought that killing Soap here probably wasn't the correct move. It didn't make sense with the rest of the story. They didn't build up his character to have extreme emotional ties to really anyone. Ghost was probably the most out of all of them, but really when looking at this scene, it would have made a lot more sense for the character to pass away to actually be Gaz, because Gaz kind of was taken under the wing of Captain Price from the very beginning, and to have this be Soap McTavish was way, way less impactful than if someone like Ghost or Gaz was to die during this cutscene. At least that's what I think and what I've heard a lot of other people's sentiment as well. So to see him die really wasn't too impactful. But then we see when multiplayer eventually comes out that Soap McTavish is one of the operators in multiplayer in zombies. But I did a video on this and I kind of explained to you guys that the multiplayer and that on top of that zombies actually takes place before the events of the Modern Warfare 3 campaign. So we can kind of be like, okay, so McTavish died after all of these battles going on in multiplayer. So that is why he is still there at that point. He then later passes away at the end of Modern Warfare 3. However, we then get the Hector Black Cell skin for Soap, which then says, well, I wasn't in that tunnel. And based off of everything else that we've seen, I wouldn't be surprised if Call of Duty tries to take some spin where either one, Soap comes back as some sort of zombie or something like that, or two, he wasn't actually the person, it was a body double or something dumb like that. I certainly hope not, and if we look at some of the other Black Cell kind of quips and kind of comments underneath the names, they are often jokes, so I'm assuming that this is just a joke and callback to Commander Philip Graves from Modern Warfare 2 because everyone thought that was super far-fetched, and I'm assuming that they are doing that here as well. So needless to say, I truly believe that Soap is indeed dead. And if they brought him back, I think if anything, it would take even more away from the Modern Warfare 3 story when it's already very, very lackluster. Moving forward, going into Modern Warfare 4 eventually, like four years from now, I'm really hoping to see more drama and more kind of big characters, big names pass away and bring some emotion into the game that's been taken away over the previous three years because they were just terrified to kill people within the campaign. At least that's my opinion. So let me know what you're thinking down in the comments. Is Soap dead? Is Soap alive? I'm truly believing he, he's gone. Just that the funeral scene alone has to kind of put the nail in the coffin, if you will. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, subscribe, turn notifications on, all of that jazz. As always, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, peace. We are, we are reaching for the stars, but we're making them.